So we have a 20 Newton block sitting at rest on a 15 degree ramp. In order to solve for the perpendicular and parallel forces of gravity, there's a couple things we need to do. First thing we need to do is draw our diagram. And it doesn't need to be to scale or anything very perfect, but there's our block, there's our ramp, and there's our angle. And we've got 15 degrees. The second thing we can do is draw some of our force vectors. So first I will draw the force of gravity downward. And now let's begin by breaking this up into its perpendicular and parallel components. Uh, first, let's just go perpendicular and our parallel. Okay. So important to know is that this right here needs to be a right angle. Okay, so that is going to be the big clue. You know exactly how far to draw this because this is going to be right angle. These should meet the. This right here is the perpendicular force of gravity. And this right here is the parallel force of gravity. Now what I'm going to do is sort of pull this triangle out so we can work with it by itself. So gravity goes straight down. That's FG. We've got our... 90 degree angle right here, our perpendicular, perpendicular to the ramp, and our parallel to the ramp. So this one's going down, and this one's going also down, because it's gravity, they all go down. Now the question we have to establish is what is this angle right here? Because what's going to happen is this parallel force is going to be equal to this parallel force right here. That is the direction of the parallel force of gravity. That is the one that is pulling the block down the ramp. If the block is at equilibrium, then we can easily right now say that the force of friction is equal to that. And if it's at equilibrium, then this side of the triangle right here indicates the perpendicular force of gravity, and we can say that our normal force is that long. So we have our diagram drawn, but we don't know any numbers yet. So the question is, what is this angle right here at the top? And the thing to keep in mind is that this 15 degree angle of the ramp basically translates to this angle right here because 15 degrees is how much the ramp is off the ground. And so 15 degrees is how much the downward force of gravity has been uh, changed. So this right here is the same exact angle as that. And this is all 15 degrees. So this is our theta right here. So theta is 15 degrees. Our Fg, which is equal to our hypotenuse, because it's opposite of the right angle, is equal to 20 newtons. Our F perpendicular is our adjacent side. And our F parallel is our opposite side. So we can fall back on our old equations. H times the sine of theta is equal to our opposite side. And H times the cosine of theta is equal to the adjacent side. And so 20 newtons times sine of 15 degrees is equal to our F parallel. And 20 newtons times cosine of 15 degrees is equal to F perpendicular. So to solve that, F parallel is equal to 5.1 newtons and our F perpendicular is equal to 19.3 newtons which in turn means that our frictional force is equal to, if this is in equilibrium, our frictional force is equal to our parallel so our frictional force would be equal to 5.1 newtons and our normal force which is equal to the perpendicular is equal to 
19.3 newtons.